looking at here folks is one of the numerous models of what we call the International Self-Contained Family Housing Unit. You can see the wind charger going over there and you can see the solar panels up there in the top bedrooms and a neat little uh, solar heat pump and then the front is where we have the greenhouse and that's what takes care of filtering all of our water. Now when we say self-contained uh, that's sort of what we mean. I mean like the house will now take care of you. Uh, we had to determine how much space that a, a average family of about f three would use around the world, how much BTUs and energies would fall on that space. And so we calculated back and we come up with this model. And so far it seems to be working pretty good. Let's move over here. This is one of the instant forests that we've come up with. It'll lower the temperature of the house about 20 degrees. You know, if you just improve your environment, it's easier to improve your environment and change it. It's much easier to do that than to heat or cool your house. Here we go. This has got about a dozen varieties of muscadine grapes. Let's just see if we can hone in on some of them here. There you go. Uh, these will put out about a thousand pounds of grapes a year and you can have fun with a thousand pounds of grapes, that's for sure. Okay, let's move over here. And you can see the house is steel and it's surrounded by plants of all sorts. Uh, you can see the, the privets there. And let's see, there's the front of the house. We've got a good view of that. And we're going to go right over here because the house is not only for humans, it's for, it's for all living creatures. Okay, you can see this little pond. Now we're going to use a few little principles here of algology and bacteriology. This is just about a three months crop of Elodea. Now we're going to show you what we're going to do with it. We're going to take and put some in a blender. Just an old fashioned blender. Like this. And then we're going to, we're going to take and strain it out. Like this with a little strainer. And then you're going to see what we're going to get. Okay. This right here is almost pure chlorella. That's one of the building blocks of the early soil. Let's go back oh, my, more than three or four hundred million years ago. Then when you're done with that, you'll have <coughs> this little pat of algae. We call this new soil. So all you got to do, if you're not entirely satisfied with the soil you've got, it's got too much chemicals in it, you can just go make all the new soil you want. Anything on earth will grow, because this is how original soil started. Okay? Now there's more involved in this. Since this is the habitat for all manner of creatures, this is not humans, you can see that we're just loaded with, I'll get this in here. There it is, someplace in there. Can't find. You have to move it. There it is, right there. Well, you can't see them. I can't even see them. Oh, there we go. We got the little suckers. There's three or four different varieties of frogs here, and we got a couple new sounds that are coming up, and I have no idea what they are. Okay, now what we're going to do is show you who keeps all the mosquitoes down. Uh, this is not only a, a habitat for frogs and such like, but it's also for dragonflies, which are becoming very scarce. Now these are libellulids. And these little suckers here don't look like much uh, swimming around in here, but they will nail any mosquito larva in town. And we've, for the years we've had it in here, we strain habitually for mosquito larva. And through the, you know, almost 15, almost a whole generation here, and we haven't found one mosquito larva in here. Okay, now we're going to show you something else you can do. You can take this algae here that she's going to pick up and show you again. And there's enough algae in here if you want to make yourself a little biogester, which are really fun to make. Oh, they're cute. Anybody can make a plastic bag, a hole in the ground, an inner tube. There's enough algae in here to supply all the methane gas that you could possibly use uh, to do all your cooking. Oh, there you go. There's the wind charger. That thing will put out 20, 30 amps. Uh, and that's enough just about to do anything that you can possibly do. And now you can see right here, we've got all these privets. Well, summertime not only keeps the dust down, but keeps it about 20, 30 degrees cooler in here. 
neat thing here. This is just these little cattle grates bolted onto the steel and they're just filled with uh, you can use whatever kind of stuff that you want but you can see right here they're just loaded with the kibias you can use kiwis or whatever you can literally cover your whole house in these plants and right up there that's the someplace up there oh there it is that's the, the window to one of the bedrooms